Hi guys, and welcome back to the part three. I think it was the part three. And what we have right now, and sort of for the audio and microphone stuff, it sometimes happens. And what we have here is the same shift registers that we used in the previous video. And what I did just connected a seven segment display. So just to demonstrate, I'm gonna shift some bits. And let's shift probably something like that. And it's a number seven. So as you can see, we can even control a seven segment display without any problem. But the thing is that in order to do it quickly, well, we have to use so called Arduino, Unos or Nanos or any microcontroller. And what I have here is, like I said, a quick video with quick demonstration. So you can imagine right now why I always talk about those shift registers. Because, well, you can imagine this matrix is eight by eight. It's eight dot matrix. So all we need to have is eight pins for the rows and eight pins for the columns. So you can imagine that we need at least 16 pins and connect to one of your microcontrollers and also via limited concurrent resistors to not burn it out. So imagine that we need to control 16 by 16 or 32 by 32 display. So the biggest problem is some of the biggest microcontrollers even has, let's see, maximum of 55 or 60 pins to control it. But for this matrix, it's not a huge problem, but if it's gonna be a bit bigger, well, we're definitely gonna have a bigger problem. Also, if it's gonna be RGB, you can add additional eight, 16, 32 pins for each color. So you can imagine it's gonna take a lot of space. So for that, rather than using 16 pins, we can get away for, I don't know, maybe with three pins to control it for one specific column. So in the end, we can use, rather than using one shift register, we're gonna use two shift registers for controlling rows and columns. If we're gonna use RGB colors, we definitely need three uh, specific shift registers and additional one to control the rows and additional for the col uh, colors of the columns. So by the end, we definitely need at least four shift registers to control at least specific matrix of eight by eight by eight by eight, if I'm talking about the colors itself. So in the next video, I'm gonna probably try to hook the screen with shift registers and try to control it with only six pins. So thank you for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye.